Today I have this foodie soy sauce called the Yamaroku Suru Bishio, and I'm gonna compare to this lesser Kikomen low sodium soy sauce. Aged in handcrafted wooden barrels from three to five years. They don't exactly age it for an exact amount of time because it depends on when it's ready. There are actually two kinds where you see this little red label here. This is the Suru Bisho. It's meant as a dipping sauce, whereas the Kiko Bisho, which has a black label over here, is more meant for cooking. And I have the Kikomen. The Kikomen is quite a bit runnier, whereas the Yamaroku could be considered a dark soy sauce and it's a little bit thicker. There's a slight umami, like a very rich flavor towards the end. Mmm, tastes good. There's this nice little sweet aftertaste that is like a rich, mellowy taste. It's pleasant. Now let me have the Kikomen. In comparison, the Kikomen just tastes like salty, a lot less soy saucy flavor. It's a bit more watered down. If I had a choice, I would pick this one because it just tastes better. Tasting it by itself doesn't really bring out the full flavor. And sometimes you need to eat it with something and you might want to mix it in some kind of sauce to really bring out the flavors. Okay. Adds a little bit of something extra. Tastes good. Cleanse my palate here. Now I'll try it with the low sodium Kikomen. Seems like it doesn't adhere to the dumpling as well, so I can't get as much soy sauce, but it's all right. I can taste a difference, definitely. This tastes like salt water. It tastes like soy sauce. There's just not a lot of layers of complexity. It's just very simple, salty soy sauce. That's how I would describe it. But this one, it's kind of like a mixture of a lot of different kinds of flavors. It's kind of full bodied, rich is how I would describe it. Yes. Let's actually make a sauce with this soy sauce and bring it up a level. Rice vinegar, dash of sesame oil, green onion, red pepper flakes, sugar, Let's give this a try. After you have this one, you'll be like, oh, this one, it just tastes like water and salt. Let's eat it with the dumpling. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I see richness. I'd say having it by itself, I was able to tell the difference, but then I guess when you mix it in this sauce, it just kind of like adds to it a little bit. Try the Kikkoman dipping sauce here. Okay, hands down. This is way, way better. I don't think I've ever tasted a soy sauce this good. Like I just want to lap up more soy sauce. Mm. Honestly, I didn't think it would be this good. I probably will go back and try the Kiku soy sauce of the same brand as well. If you guys are interested in this product, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.